Next question is from Eli Hall, double zero. Can you make gains on a three-day-a-week workout schedule? Oh, 80% yeah. of you listening right now, at least 80% of you listening right now, will make the best gains on a three-day-a-week uh, workout schedule. A full-body, three-day-a-week routine for most people, and com compare it to all the other body part split and five-day and six-day-a-week routines, 80% or more of you will do better on the full-body, three-day-a-week routine. And I remember when this became glaringly obvious to me, it was, again, later in my career, and I figured this out for my clients well before I figured it out for myself. I, I, for some reason, and I think a lot of trainers uh, you know, fall prey to this, you think that you're different. Like, oh, it doesn't really apply to me. I'm, you know, yeah. it, Not like my clients or whatever. But I would get these advanced clients that would hire me, especially as I became more experienced, and I had good referrals, and people who were experienced who had good uh, you know, exercise knowledge would come hire me, and they'd been working out already. And oftentimes I would start them on a three day a week routine. And one of the reasons why I would do that was my schedule was kind of full. Um, and it, it was, it was better for me to train more people three days a week than it was to train less people at five days a week. And the other part of it was, uh, I, I had this philosophy where let me try this and see how this works. If it doesn't work, then we'll try something else. And every single time mm -hmm. the three day a week full body routine produced the best gains that they'd ever seen. And when I finally applied it to myself was when I looked at old uh, bodybuilding and muscle building publications. I mean, old, way back at the you know the, the turn of the century, um, the, you know uh, in you know the early 1900s and the 1920s, 1930s, back when strong men and strength athletes you know didn't take steroids or supplements or anything. They all worked out this way. You know, mm -hmm. Steve Reeves worked out this way. John Grimmick worked out this way. Look them up. You'll see for yourself what they look like. These guys were natural for most of their career. So I've, I remember I applied it to myself, and I'm glad I applied it to myself later in my career because at some point, after, tra after you train for about six, seven years consistently, you know right away when something works. Yeah. And I remember the first time I did it, I got stronger right away, and I was like, holy cow, this is the way uh, most people work real yeah, well. Yeah, it's just funny because uh, I, I fell into that trap of more is better, more is better, and that, that was just something that was always reiterated to me from my coaches and, you know, like whatever work you put in, you're going to – you're going to get back uh, tenfold. And so, uh, you know, to fall back, I would always kind of fall back into this three-day-a-week regimen because uh, what I did in between, and we have to differentiate between, like, the workouts of this three days uh, versus what you do in between. And uh, I'm still working out technically, you know, the days in between, but it's it's all to foster recovery. And so it's it's a very uh, different mentality, and it's it's very different uh, exercises and movements. But in terms of the overall intensity of of you know a demanding workout, you know keeping that three days with space in between tend to provide the best results for me and my clients. Uh, anytime I'd add four or five, it was in excess. Mm. Well, I think there's a, there's several reasons for that. I, I first of all, I wish I would have figured this out earlier. Oh, me too. I mean, I, I spent the first decade of of lifting weights. Uh, you know, following every, you know, exercise program that was in a muscle and fitness magazine or, you know, like Justin's approach, which was more is better and just getting, you know, training intensely and more days and double days and thinking that the more I train, the more muscle I should build. Right. And, and the truth is uh, one of the best things I ever did was start scaling back and going the other direction. And a couple of things happens and why, why I think that one, um, when you run like a five or six or seven day a week type of split uh, and you split up your muscle groups in order to hit each muscle two to three times a week, you have to be very consistent. You miss one of those days and it throws that off completely. So when you run a full body routine and, and it's only three days a week, one, it's much easier to do three days a week uh, as far as making it to the gym or your or whatever than it is five or six. So, and if you were to technically miss one day, you still got two full body workouts, which hits every muscle group at least twice in that week. So, and even if you only got one day that week, at least you you touched every single muscle group, which for me, and, my, and, and when I looked back at like my, you know, training consistency, it was just inevitable. This happens. I go for two or three weeks and then I'd have a, you know, inconsistent week and then some one muscle group would suffer. You know, and you know, and and normally what suffers is the thing that I didn't like doing the most, right? That's what we always tend to do. And then when, you, when I get back in the rhythm again, I go back to the things I like doing, and mm -hmm. and then that that muscle group that I'm lagging in continues to suffer. So I think that's one of the reasons. And there's another reason when you have to train 
a muscle group three times in a week because you're doing full body, it also forces you, uh, whether you like it or not, eventually to kind of scale back on the intensity. Mm -hmm. You you learn your le lesson pretty quickly of overdoing it uh, when you know you got to come back two days later and touch that muscle group again. So I think it naturally forces people to reduce the intensity of it, which is another thing that I think is over applied. Uh, and definitely for myself, and I think anybody in this room could attest to, you know, tra chasing that intensity and trying to crush the the muscle group in the gym. You just can't do that and get away with that when you're training full body three times a week. So I think there's a lot more than just, oh, what it does for, for volume and what it does for frequency. I think it naturally you know, benefits a lot of people for those reasons too. And so I think that's a lot of the it, success from that. There's one more thing I'd like to add, and this is just my own uh, theory. Um, but, you know, when you, when you work out, you get a localized muscle building effect that's, that's uh, directly related to the muscle that you're working. So if I work out my right bicep, I'm going to get a loud muscle building signal that's applied to my right bicep. However, there's an, another interesting phenomena that happens you also get this systemic, milder muscle building effect that kind of happens throughout the whole body. Okay, They've proven this in studies. They've actually done studies where they have people work out one arm, and most of the muscle gains and strength gains happen in that arm, but the other arm mysteriously gains a little bit of muscle, a little bit of strength. Kind of mm -hmm. weird. Um, for people who are advanced, who are listening right now, who've been working out for a long time, you know, you've probably experienced this where you 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 do barbell squats. If you've never done them before, you start introducing them and your legs start to get stronger and bigger. You start to notice gains in your upper body too, in your yeah. arms. Like what arms does that have to shoulders. do? Yeah, what does this have to do with my arms and my shoulders? I'm just put a back, you know, bar on my back and I did squats. Now, full body workout sends a very loud, first off, it's, you're all this, there's, there's a lot of direct muscle building signals happening in all the muscle groups that you're working. But because you're doing the whole body in a workout, you also enhance this very loud total body muscle building signal. And I think that complements the muscle building signals that are more direct. I think when you combine the two, you maximize the muscle building signal. Then you take the next day off, allow things to happen, to build a little bit of recover, and then you go back and you do it again. And to this day, till this day, now there's lots of variations of this. So if you follow any of our MAPS programs, uh, all the muscle building ones, you'll find that almost all of them follow this kind of structure. There's three main workouts, two to three main workouts with other stuff in between, whether it be trigger sessions, focus sessions, or mobility work. But generally, the meat and potatoes of the program is typically two or three days of full body workouts. And the reason why we did that is it just works. It works for most people. Um, so, and by the way, right now, this is how I'm training. Right now, this is how I almost always train. If I have extra time, I do mobility work on the other days. I do hikes and walks and that kind of stuff. But my routine, the exercises may change, the reps may change, the tempo may change, maybe the goal may change. But my basic structure that I followed now for well over half of my lifting career is a three day a week full body routine. By the way, when Doug hired me, when, when, when I first met Doug years ago in his 40s, he had experience working out. He had lots of experience lifting weights on his own. He followed lots of other types of programming. When he hired me, here was a guy, not a beginner, Got some experience, already relatively fit, hard gainer, fit the classic profile of a hard gainer. I trained him two days a week, full body two days a week, and in his late 40s made the best gains of his entire life. In fact, we have a before and after picture that if you if you scour his Instagram, Mind Pump Doug, or uh, yeah, Mind Pump Doug, you'll be able to find it. Made the best gains of his life two days a week, not even three.